Hi, I'm Audrey from the Rediscovery Centre and today I'm going to make a fabric face mask, a non-medical that just used for as a barrier. Um, and so what I have used is a pillowcase that I have at home that I don't use anymore. And so I've cut it uh, 9 inches by 8 inches. And then the next stage for that to do is to just make some small pleats. So I'm going to press probably about 3 pleats into this. You can do 4 if you want. So what we do is just bring it forward like so. And press, just be careful of the steam on the iron as you can see what I'm doing there. I'll just do one more to show you. Okay, press. Okay, so then when we have that done, it will turn out like this. And so what we need to do is secure each, each end of each pleat with a pin so that they don't fall apart again. So the next stage is we're going to have to sew along both sides. So I have decided to hand sew. You can use your sewing machine if you so wish, but I'm just going to keep it very simple. All you need is a needle and thread and just do a long, simple stitch, like so. Just to secure the pleat, that's all you need to do on both sides. As you can see, I've just started sewing there. Okay. And then when that is done, when you have both sides secured, like so, you'll be left like that. They're both secure on both sides. So the next thing that needs to be done, we need elastic for it to go around our ears. So I decided, gosh, I've no elastic at home except for hair bobbins. So I decided, oh, so they're just perfect. They fit around my ear. So what we need to do is sew a hair bobbin, like the previous stitch, just a needle and thread, secure it on to the end, one end, of your mask like so and just keep sewing until you're happy that it's secure. I'll just show you what that looks like as you can see there. It doesn't have to be all fancy or all tidy just as long as it's really secure as you can see it is there. So then obviously we need to do the same on the other side. I'm just going to snip off that thread. Now I'm going to take off my glasses and show you what it looks like on me. So, there we go. So there's our finished mask. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to find out more, check into www.rediscoverycentre.ie. Bye for now.